Hi, I'm Will. Welcome to a new series of videos about programming languages and also about programming and computation from the point of view of pro programming languages and programming language theory. We're going to look at the theory of programming languages, things like interpreters, compilers, type systems, macros, understanding metaprogramming, how do you write a program that writes programs, program synthesis, symbolic artificial intelligence and how that's tied to programming languages or programming language techniques, things like program transformations, how you can leverage the power of domain-specific languages and towers of domain-specific languages to solve really hard problems, how you can reason about programs, how you can guarantee certain properties of your programs through programming language techniques and things like that. And also applications, for example, to real world problems that you might see in industry or as a hobbyist, or also to things like research problems, say in precision medicine where I work. I also want to give some feeling of what it's like to actually do research in programming languages. So from that standpoint, we will look at papers published on programming languages, we'll read them, try to understand them, try to understand what the jargon is, try to implement those, those papers, try to think about them, see if we can understand what the papers are about, what the ideas are about, and in general, collect a series of, or a set of idioms that could be useful, and also try to look at existing languages and take them apart a little bit, try to understand why the designers of those languages made the decisions they did or the types of problems the languages were intended to solve. All those sorts of things. Talk about programming language design. What does it mean to design a language or design, say, a domain-specific language? How do you go about doing so? For, what is good design? What is mediocre design? What is bad design? All those sorts of things. I also hope to bring on some of my friends who know about a bunch of topics I don't know and also talk about things like how do you present research in programming languages. You know, everything from how to write a paper, how to give a talk, how to read a talk, uh, read a paper, how to review a paper, all those sorts of things. And if you wanted to study more formally, how would you go about doing that? Or if you want to study programming languages informally, how would you go about doing it? What if you want to go to grad school? What if you are thinking about becoming a researcher in programming languages? What would that be like? What are the opportunities there? How might you go about it? Talk about all those things. Now that's a lot to cover. I haven't even talked about all the things that we might talk about, some of which I don't know because over time, I would be responding to what people are interested in, but that's what I want to do. So my next video will get into the, the story of why you might be interested in studying programming languages in a serious way or in-depth way. Why is that useful or important? You know, why, why do you need to go anything, do anything beyond, hey, I know a little bit, of pick your language of choice, I know enough for, uh, to write a loop, and I know enough to, you know, change the value of a variable, and I know what an if statement looks like. Okay, so why do why would you want to go beyond those basics in the language, or even, you know, beyond that? Maybe you know a mainstream language quite well. Maybe you know Java well, or C plus plus, or Python, or something like that. Maybe you know a couple of those languages. Well, why would you care to learn more about programming languages? And tied into that is the notion of looking at sort of the stripped down versions of languages, which bring you to the core of computation, which ties into logic and mathematics and all sorts of interesting things. So, you know, when you get down to the very core of the computation, you can learn interesting things about what you can say about programs and what you can't say about programs and techniques that you might find useful 
or if you don't find them useful, you might at least find it interesting or beautiful. Lots of things to talk about. So the next video, we're gonna talk about why you might wanna study programming languages on their own and why that might be interesting. I hope you'll join me and also I hope you'll give me feedback on what sort of topics you would find interesting and hopefully we can learn things together. Thank you. See you soon.